Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on Vivo Garage. In today's video, we are continuing with getting this travel trailer remodeled, make it our own, make it look a little more modern, make it more functional, that kind of stuff. So, in today's video, we are going to be closing this section off right here. Uh, on our camping trip we went, we found that we didn't need the window, the blinds were kind of in the way, and I think we're just wanting to really close it off and kind of make it look a little more complete. So we are going to be putting up kind of a wall in that section. It's not going to add a lot of depth, but it'll make it, I think, look a little better. So yeah, check us out, see what happens. So first thing I had to do was take the bed out and oh my gosh. I forgot what it, I mean, I didn't put it in. I let it expand in there, but it's kind of heavy. So it'll be interesting to see, um, you know, on that. But like I mentioned, I'm going to close this section off. So in, to do that first, I need to insulate this window. And it is, it's in the mid 40s uh, Fahrenheit outside right now. So it'll look cool. Um, I want to get this window insulated off. I'm going to take the blinds off because we're not going to need those, but insulate the window with just some of the thin film stuff. And then I'm going to heat the trailer up to a comfortable temperature. And I want to make sure I have no condensation and to make sure that it's in fact working and it's just not building condensation in the, in the thing. I'm not going to do these windows yet. I want to see if those get condensation build up on them. So that'll tell me if it's working or not. Last thing I want to do is close that wall off or put something up there and have it generate condensation, which then is sitting and then turns into mold. And now we've got a health concern here. So definitely don't want to do that. So uh, I'll quit rambling, but I'm going to get the blinds off and then get the window insulated on there. Won't record it. It's not very intriguing content, but just let you know what I'm doing. All right, so I got the window insulated and unfortunately I couldn't tell. I heated the place up to about 68-ish uh, Fahrenheit and it was nice and warm out here, but the outside temperatures jumped up and I got the sun beating on the window. But anyway, I think how I can test it is, is I can lift the other side up that lets light in that's on the front of the the travel trailer and just check it make sure i'm not getting anything but um what i did now is i got the like i said the film up you can kind of see it poking out on the top i'm not going to trim it down um on there because it's going to be behind and you know i really don't care so i got some of this eight inch uh backer board um i don't even know what it's called anymore i'm drawing a blank but I measured it out and I cut it down. Now you will see a gap up here and that's because I don't have it going all the way down at the bottom. I didn't want to tack it up yet because I'm going to vinyl wrap it and it's going to be vinyl wrapped and this stuff, same stuff here kind of carries a theme through. And if we don't like it, we can pull it back down and recover it in something else that we want or we can just paint the thing. You know, there's a lot of different options. So just wanted to kind of show where I'm at now with it. And I'm just going to pull it back out, give it a nice clean, and then I'm just going to vinyl wrap it. Grain's going to go this way, like that. And, you know, I'll probably need to do two, maybe three potential passes with the, the wrap. But, you know, getting the seams is getting pretty easy nowadays. So... We'll get that pulled down, and then once it's wrapped, I'll show it before I put it up, what it looks like. But I'm just going to staple it uh, with my, you know, pneumatic staple gun, similar to how I did these. You can see the, you know, staple there, but it's so minuscule, it's not even noticeable. And then that will wrap that up. So stay tuned. All right, I got that all trimmed out with the vinyl. Here, I'll show it in just a second, but... I'm probably going to end up redoing it just to be transparent. Um, I ran out of vinyl wrap, so uh, the bottom part does not 
flow the same. I see it because I know it's there. And I don't think anyone else would see it, but I think it's just going to bother me knowing the way it is. But in, you know, nothing worth filming or any of that stuff. But here, I'll show you what we got. There we go. So it was three separate strips of the vinyl wrap. Only because the, the roll only goes so wide. So this is three different sections. And if you look hard enough, you can see the imperfection on it. But... I'm not going to be too concerned about it. So I'm going to get it put in and um, get my nail gun and all that stuff. And we're just going to get this thing tacked up. So I'll show you what the finished product looks like. All right, I got it up and there it is. I turned the light on because it's kind of, it's getting dark in here. But no, I, I, I think it looks fantastic. I wasn't 100% sure what to think, but, you know, my wife knocked it out again. And she's like, I think we need to do that and put it up there. And I'm, I wasn't 100% sure, but man, I think it looks really nice. So I will get the bed back in and get it made and all that. And then we'll kind of close this video up. All right. Well, I got the bed made. May not be as nice as my wife would like it, but at least it'll be functional. Uh, she's on her way home now, so she'll be able to see this whole thing for the first time. But yeah, here it is. There's the final picture, or the final version of it. Um, I think it just, it, everything blends in real nice, especially when you start seeing, you know, like the table and that. Um, you know, the wall, the, the slide-out trim, everything. It just, I think, ties it back together. And yeah, so... We are complete with that, this project and this video. So um, I got another project I'm gonna start. I don't know if I'll be able to finish it. Um, it may be a two part video, I'm not sure. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for even sticking this far in the video. A lot of people don't. Um, but you know, consider subscribing if you like the content that this travel trailer is doing or any other stuff that I've got here going on Vivo Garage. But yeah, thank you so much, and until next time, bye.